Hey, do you really know your tea? Well, it clearly seems to be like a true solution. But is it really? Well, it might be something completely different and that is what we will be figuring out today. So let's do one thing. Let's start with a fun experiment. So let's quickly switch the screen and see what do we have over here. So here on one side, you can see we have a sugar solution, right? And on the other side, we have tea. Now we will be passing light and let's see what happens. So let's use the sugar solution first over here. I hope you all can see this. And let's just dim the light a bit. Alright, so let's pass the light. And the path of light is not visible. You can see it, right? Let's try the same with tea now. We'll do the same steps with tea. Alright, now have a look. So what do you see? T is scattering light throughout and making the path of light visible. Let's switch back to the main screen and switch on the lights as well. So I suppose we have our first hint about the nature of T now, isn't it? Alright, so from the experiment that we just performed, we noticed one thing, right? Sugar water mixture is completely different from tea for sure right to further narrow down the nature of tea let's do one thing let's understand what's a solution so a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more pure substances so when we talk about homogeneous mixtures they have uniform composition and appearance but that's not the case with heterogeneous mixtures in case of heterogeneous mixtures the particles are not evenly placed right and of course it has uneven composition now in the example that we are discussing over here, we have sugar and water, right? So sugar is the solute, water is the solvent. Now you see that water, in water sugar was completely dispersed, right? Sugar was distributed evenly, but we still could not see the path. The reason being that the particles of sugar are really small, they are too tiny to scatter light. We have some more examples here with us. So. Let's see what do we have. We have water and in this water we have added some salt. Let's try to pass light now. Well, the path is not visible again. Right. Let's try the same with soda water. So I have soda water. Again, the path is not visible. Right. Let's try the same with vinegar now. Well, again, the path is not visible. So all these are examples of homogeneous mixtures. So in all these cases, one thing was common, right? The path of light was not visible. So there you go. Now, when we talk about T, one glance at T and you can easily say that, you know, it appears to be uniform. It appears to have homogeneous composition, right? But again, the light scattering property says otherwise, right? So what do you think? Is it heterogeneous or is it homogeneous? Think about this one. Put on your thinking caps to answer this part. Well, 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 even though tea looks like a homogeneous mixture, when we actually zoom and we realize that the particles are relatively larger and they're not evenly distributed. And just like colloids, it's actually scattering light as well. So there you go. T is actually a colloid. It's a heterogeneous mixture. Now, we have some more heterogeneous mixtures with us. So, over here we have milk. So, let's see what happens when we pass this light. Okay? So, there you go. Can you see the path being visible again? Yes? Alright. Now, we also have paint. So, let's try this with paint as well. I'm again going to pass light. All right, can you see the path being visible? Awesome. So this scattering effect, light scattering effect that we are discussing, it has a name to it. What's the name? Well, the name is Tyndall effect and it was discovered by John Tyndall. Now, even though the particles of tea are small enough to be, you know, actually be visible to us, to our naked eye, but in reality, they are large enough to scatter light and make the path of light visible. So there you go. I hope you've understood this concept. Now, some fascinating information before we close. What do you see over here? Look at this image closely. 
you'll notice that there is smoke in there, right? And the particles of smoke are responsible for scattering light and causing the Tyndall effect. So next time you go for any laser or light show, you know that Tyndall effect is in play. All right, so I hope now you know your tea really well. If yes, quickly like this video, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you super soon.